class uh, and we start from slide number 25 okay uh, can you hear me Okay. <clears throat> okay. Now we continue our uh, lecture on the four bases of security, which were confidentiality or in Persian we say mahramanigi, authenticity in Persian we say esalat, and integrity uh, in Persian we say jamiyat and availability in Persian we say dar das tres okay we also check double checked with each other uh, Arabic of the all of the concepts the four concepts okay these are very important now in the following slides we talk about the uh, attack on each of these uh, uh, security concepts or, or, or attacks that violates each of these security concepts the first one the or the very first concept is eavesdropping or gush kardan in arabic i don't know this uh, it's uh, in farsi we call it fuzuli or listen okay in arabic i just check it's uh, it should be a tanasut if I'm not mistaken. Okay, it's uh, like listening, and the other words for this is a sniff. Um, a sniffing or listening or capture and so on and so forth sometimes you do it uh, using the network unauthorized access to the information by the sniffers sometimes you <clears throat> sorry sometimes you just cut the uh, wires or you attack on the hardware's lines physical lines and then you start copying the information or you start uh, a sniffing a, a sniff or copy the information is easy in wireless networks because first uh, i can use both of um, or uh, um, I can give you ex examples for both uh, wired and uh, wireless networks. You see, when you have a line, for example, and there is a one person A on the one side of the line and person B on the other side of the line, something that you can do is that you create a extension from the line, okay, and then you start copying the information uh, or whatever it goes on the line whatever the information exchanges on the line you start making a copy it's like that okay so we call it record because we have these concepts uh, during the whole semester further in the class so we call it record or we call it a sniff or we call it copy of the line make the extension and then you start copying these things uh, for copying the information you can do it on telephone lines you can do it on ethernet cables okay 
you can copy on Ethernet cables, but it's almost impossible or very difficult, uh, but not on. It's very difficult on optical fiber. The other way to listen to the line, uh, uh, in addition to make the extension like this, is that to use physics to copy the information that passes through the line. You see, when you have a straight line and the uh, electricity passes through it, okay? When you have a line and electricity passes through it, around the line, you will have electrical, uh, no, not electrical, magnetic field. So, So when you have electricity current in the line, you will have magnetic field around the line. Okay, and then if somebody starts with antenna, okay, if somebody starts to create an antenna like this and put it here, okay, and then I should draw something like that. It it puts somebody puts antenna like this to observe the magnetic field it can get the information about the electricity in the um, line. So, um, in conclusion, when the, when the <coughs> electricity current changes, for example, no electricity, no magnetic field, <coughs> if the current is stronger, the magnetic field will be stronger. If it's weaker, the magnetic field will be will be weaker and then here you can get the zero and one and again you can like this like here make a copy make a record or a sniff the line that the um, information goes through this okay this is another way the other way is when you sniff or listen to the wireless information we all know that the wireless information they broadcast so when you have wireless i will write in notes when you have wireless you have waves waves go in all directions they are unidirectional or they either go in one direction or one direction Also, they call it Omni. They are direction that the waves go. So again, I will draw something a simpler, uh, a simple shape, like a access point, or for example, Wi-Fi access point. It can be Wi-Fi access point for, uh, for example, something like access point that you have at your home or it can be any device for example remote for the cars or whatever it is they when they start working again generate similar to the previous figure they generate waves okay and then when they generate waves again you can have one antenna And here also with the if 
<clears throat> if you listen in the same frequency if you listen in the same frequency you can record a sniff or copy the waves and if it's encrypted it's a little bit difficult to interpret it if it's not encrypted or uh, no encryption it's easy to uh, copy and interpret it and uh, use it uh, or I don't know find the information or extract the information from it and so on and so forth so all of these these information are uh, regarding the um, sniffing the wired and wireless network so it's easy for example when uh, on mobile phones okay it, it's all same for mobile phones when the mobile phone uh, work uh, you have a sim card that it has id okay and you have a device or a smartphone and it also have id they send the id to bts so there are some devices that you can sniff the air sniff the area record the id uh, or ids and use them later or what make an illegal copy of it or force the ids you can do the same with the um the, uh, what can I say cards bank cards you can make a copy and use the copy for wi-fi you can sniff the Wi-Fi and use the information. Okay, for uh, for example, Ethernet switch or telephone line, it's safe. Uh, it's same for telephone line. You can. listen to the line and record the line for parking door you can record the frequency for opening the door okay you can sniff or listen to the uh, and um, record the frequency for opening the door and copy then use it to and use it to open the door it, it it's the concept is same so attack on confidentiality I will use it in Arabic so it's uh, the title of something we taught attack on attack on confidentiality can be performed in many many different ways Ways and we talked about the magnetic field and the uh, electric uh, electricity current and we talked about extension of the communication line and we talked about the Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi access. So let's go back to the slide. See where we are.
this was us dropping or attack on confidentiality i will go to next slide attack on integrity okay or uh, integrity i think in arabic was attack on or something like that attack on integrity al hujum ala nizahat okay attack on integrity is that you change the message in a way that the receiver thinks it's the original message i just gave you some ideas in the previous lectures and some examples on attack on integrity we will use the same concept again you see it's it's a bit harder than attack on confidentiality because you should have access to the line um i don't know what is this let me double check yes thank you very much for the yes for the previous one okay so attack on integrity now we want to talk about attack on integrity attack on integrity is not easy that you just listen to the line it's not like this you should change the line in a way that for example if this is a and if this is b you should change the communication line you should cut the line between a and b and then convert the lines to your C and then here receive the message change it and send it again okay receive the message change it and send it again one of the famous attacks on availability is the attack which name is man in the middle or in short we call it m i t m man in the middle attack man in the middle attack it's like that somebody is in the middle and change the information uh, on the way for example the a writes uh, we meet in two hours and then something that b receives is that we meet in one hour for example a says do not call me now and then something that B receive is that call me now you see you change the message in the middle and something that goes from the uh, sender to the receiver will change through the attacker in the middle uh, one of the mm, common ways of attack on integrity is that when the data is stored somewhere in the buffers or on the network you get and you change it in wireless networks attack on availability happens like this so this is the access point again same example consider that this is the access point and here is the device okay something that the hacker or an attacker for example i write here hacker okay something that hacker or attacker is can do is that for example i should put the label on this device as access point is ap and the device is for example 
uh, I put one name here. For example, this is Ali. Okay, this is Ali and this is access point of the Ali. Something that ha hacker does, uh, take the information from the access point and then send the information to Ali and tells Ali that, okay, um, tells Ali, I am AP. Okay, and play the role of AP for Ali. But when Ali sends the information and replies, for example, because Ali is expecting that the hacker is AP and replies to AP, the hacker sends information to AP and say, okay, I am Ali. So we call this attack man in the middle or just make it right, man in the middle or MITM. The hacker is a man in the middle or the one who changes the information on the way from the alley, from alley to access point. So these are the ways. I put different ways. The first one is that you cut the fiber and you change the information and you send it again. And also in wireless, you can listen and then repeat or change the message on the way out. This is also attack on integrity. I will go back to the security slide. We go to the next one. Attack on authenticity. This one is called fabrication. I think uh, again I will write it here and put the Arabic here. Attack on authenticity in English Esalat Al Hujum Alal Esalat. This one Hujum Alal Esalat. From where you understand that this is A for, because you don't know A and you, for example, you, you just hear me, you don't see me and you have no way to authenticate me. Is, is it really your lecture? You don't know. Okay. So attack on integrity is that the sender doesn't send any information and there is a masquerader then that this masquerader, someone who, uh, Jal the information or masquerade the information uh, in Arabic Haflatu uh, Tankaria it's a difficult word but it, uh, anyhow I just put it here there's a masquerader that just walk with B in a way or seduce with B in a way that uh, tells B that okay I'm A and I'm sending information from the uh, A. For example the, the way of uh, this, these messages uh, there are many different ways but uh, something like that for example you have a smartphone Uh, can you hear me now? Because I think we lost the class for several minutes. Yes, no. Do you have my voice? 
Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah, we, we lost the class for several minutes. Okay, thank you. So consider that we have a smartphone. Okay, we were talking about the masquerader, and then you receive Uh, for example, SMS, or you may receive email, or it, it's okay, just SMS and email. You receive SMS or email or notification from Hacker and tells you different or gives you different fake information. Okay, it's from Hacker. Say, so, okay. I am your bank and for example pay me something or you receive message this is Facebook change for example your password or for example this is Yahoo click here something like that to fabricate sending a message yes in person it in the center thank you very much thank you it's it's correct in Arabic uh, it's said okay so they they will send something to you that uh, it, it's not the sender is not real we call it attack on authenticity and it also can be uh, disruption and can be different uh, problem uh, okay we talked about attack on uh, authenticity we talked about attack on integrity just the last one which is attack on availability i just uh, checked the slide and I, I will come back again to the word to explain the attack on availability attack on availability if you remember i told you it's the easiest way to uh, attack or on someone okay this is the in Arabic we say, we say sahl. Okay, in Arabic we say we say sahl. It's very easy uh, to uh, perform and it's very difficult to protect. And we do not allow the attack to happen. So it's very difficult to protect the system from attack on availability because in different ways you can stop the service. So what are the different ways as you can uh, destroy the hardware, for example, cutting the fibers, you go to the street and then um, just cut the telephone lines. Okay, you can easily go to the street and cut telephone lines. It's easy. Okay, it's attack on availability. You can uh, go to ATM or other bank and cut the fiber. You can go to other bank and cut the fiber. Uh, it's attack on availability. You can uh, on any wireless. It's not important whether you know the key or you do not know the key or SSID is hidden or SSID. You can see the SSID or what is the encryption uh, method or technology is not important. You can just send the signals that block the wireless or block on that frequency that block the signals and then um, the access point or the, the smartphones that want to work with that access point, they do not work. As we call it in uh, wireless systems or in wireless world we call it noise even you can do it on satellites okay you can you can do it on satellites you can do it on wi-fi you can do it on the smartphones everything which which is zoza yeah everything which is wireless you can do it easily it's very easy to uh, just deny the service do not let the service happen okay 
crashing the server or the most uh, important attack uh, type of attacks in the US is overwhelm the server that uh, it cannot work attack on availability so I should go again to to board uh, that I put more examples first on availability and then uh, attack on availability which DOS is very important and then uh, we just um, cover the everything uh, on one database example you see consider that you have one server or one service with the capacity of M okay consider that you have one service with the capacity of M if you have one client or one customer that wants to connect to the server client or customer with the request with the capacity of okay and then when n is bigger or far bigger than, than m okay for example number of users is bigger or number of requests is bigger than capacity of the server what will happen the server will crash or the server does not the server will crash or the server does not respond when the request or number of requests are greater than the capacity of the server so this is the uh, normal problem that happens in many servers that we call it for example uh we call it crop okay or we call it crop source the number of the request which is greater than uh, capacity of the server and it destroys the server so we have this this concept in all of the systems okay as the home exactly thank you very much Jake we have this problem in all of the servers and for all of the systems and for all of the services okay now consider that if we have a service again with the same um, parameters with the service as m okay and then we have one attacker that it creates the same amount of traffic as many users okay it it has the capacity to create the same amount of requests how many requests for example n requests per second or millisecond which is bigger than n it creates n requests which n is far greater than n is if this happens and this one creates this type of um, request the server will crash again we will say that the server will crash okay we call this type of attack so this is crowd it happens but no attack this is same but 
this is attack we call it dos attack denial of service as far as the attacker uh, sends the request with the same rate to the server the server doesn't work and cannot answer and process all the requests and it's done we call it dos attack and it's very important in computer uh, security because uh, with different methods on almost all of the systems and server i i'm saying all of the systems and servers we can create dos attack there is another type of DOS attack because if you know the attacker, you will easily or you can easily, for example, the firewalls can easily block the attacker. It can be based on the IP, based on the uh, request pair, for example, second, and based on the, for example, network that the attack comes from and so forth and so on from this. Uh, type of parameters or characteristics we can block the attacker or but there is a more complicated way of doing a dos attack i will write the server again so again we have one server or service with uh, capacity of n same thing okay but here i will add another layers okay another layer sorry uh, I will add another layer that they are different people or different computers around the world. It's like this. Okay. And then uh, I put attacker here. In this type of attack, the attacker directly, never directly attacks the server. Okay. Or from one side. Uh, in net network, network it's network sorry for example which networks or which ip address the requests come from okay for example if it's from uh, ip for example uh 217218270 okay with the subnet for example i don't know 24 or 22 or something like that if it's from this network firewall which block this network for example for three hours okay for three hours we block the whole ip address in this network so the problem will solve yeah yeah exactly ip is one person or one computer network it's a group it's group of the computers that in that network because attacker also can change the ip address in its own network okay so this is it. now we go back to the dos it's again uh, i will write it's attacker okay and there are different computer it starts with a worm or computer virus that will affect all of the computers for example this computer may affect this computer and this computer may affect this computer it takes the time that all of them are infected by the for example a worm or uh, for example malware it can be a worm it can be a malware it can be a virus or something like that okay all uh, of the computers but these are normal computers okay common people normal computer all around the world that they are all affected when they're affected we call them zombie you know these are 
Do you know what's a zombie? Okay, yes, they are, yes, Ali, they are dead, but the, the most important part is that they, they have no idea what they are doing, okay, they are doing something, if they are dead, they are safe, okay, and it's safe for us, but they actually, they, they don't know what they do, so that's why we call them zombie, okay, they don't know what they do, so the attacker needs, now, they, it needs trigger, or it needs control uh, for example the trigger can be for example date and time okay the trigger for attacking can be date and time or it can control the zombies on the world itself send the command to the uh, infected computer or whatever it is okay when it does it something that happens they start sending requests to the server without knowing okay for example now you are in your class but your computer starts pinging uh, google okay or microsoft or one of the uh, victims of this attack okay they start sending the information to the server and again dos happens so again it's denial of service and dos but because it's distributed but because it's distributed we call it DDoS I will write in the note okay end of the note I will write it it's distributed denial of service it's distributed denial of service oh it's It's distributed denial of service. Yeah, I think it's right. Denial. Uh, it's correct in the box in the note. Yes, exactly. It's distributed denial of service, which is common in most of the network. You can attack to the web servers like this. You can attack to DNS servers like this. You can attack to DHCP servers in a similar manner you, you can attack to hotlines for the support hotlines same way same way you can attack hotlines and then um, uh, make it busy that nobody can call it's, it's all the same and the concept is same so DOS is, is easy to implement and difficult to track and then block the attacks so this is all about the DOS but I will talk about them all of them in another example which is related to database so I will go to another board consider that you have a system and namuzaj in Arabic example Okay. Consider that you have a database, okay, that you have all of your information or data in it. So let's put it three, it should be three. So you have a database.
and these are the lines okay you help me here the first thing we want to talk about is uh, confidentiality how we can uh, manage confidentiality on the database for example how you can manage the confidentiality on your uh, smartphone nobody else can access the information on your uh, smartphone what do you do okay perfect so you should set the password and set the access to the database so here uh, i will add as your friend said uh, we, we will put user okay and then we put password and then we put access rights I, I will define some users here for you to see for example I put Ali okay and then password one two three and then access right is uh, just read and then I put Mariam for example and then four five six and then this one right okay and I put admin and then seven eight nine and then admin has full access okay if this is my database and uh, this is these are my passwords and this is the access do you really gained confidentiality did you solve the problem if this is in SQL Server, for example, or in the database. Yes or no? Okay, what's the problem? Hello, Van. What's the problem? Uh, the password is weak, but something else that I want to, yes, that one is uh, far away from something that I want to talk about it. That's more complicated. Okay. The problem here is that you can see the passwords of the people. For example, Ali can manage to see password of admin and login with 789. Okay, so one step further to create the confidentiality instead of uh, saving the password, what do they do? I wrote here saving the password is wrong. Okay, what do they do? They instead of the password, they encrypt them and instead of the password we save yeah exactly we save hash of the password so i should remove my passwords here Okay, because of the you see because of the confidentiality okay uh, I should remove the passwords here and then for example instead of this one or instead of this one and instead of this one I use the hash of the passwords I can write like uh, hash becomes something like this for example this is the password of Ali 
this is password of Maryam. Um, this is password of admin. Okay, so look good. But again, uh, we have the problem, for example, the, the other one. We have the problem with the, the confidentiality is okay. Uh, you cannot see the password of the people, okay? But we have the problem with integrity and authenticity. You see what I can do? Because of the integrity, okay, what about integrity? Because of the integrity, we have the problem with confidentiality. You see something that I can do, I cannot see the password, okay? But I can touch it or I can change it. So I will use the admin's password. Okay, mm -hmm. let me just remove it. Um, and also for Ali. Okay, let's again, I, I should write passwords again because I need to change them. I put the admin's password here again and I put add this password here okay so you see I can see take the admin passwords out because I don't know what is it and I'm for example Ali and I put the passwords of Ali inside the admins password and then I can log in with admin so although I'm Ali But I can log in as admin. Okay, and then whatever happens, for example, if I delete the database, I destroy the data, whatever happens, they say that who did this? Admin did it. So the problem, you see, the problem with integrity caused the problem with authenticity. The problem with integrity will cause the problem with authenticity. Something that we usually do to prevent something. And then after I finished, again, I put the password, copy and paste, Alice password back. And then I copy and paste admin passwords back and everything goes to normal. But already I destroyed the database and everybody will think that admin destroyed the database or uh, it was admin's fault. So this is the uh, conflict or this is the problem. Something that they usually do is that they calculate number of the bits or for example number of the uh, ones or number of the zero with any uh, formula in here oh, let me just use another shape um, they calculate the number of for example ones here and then they put it here and as one bit that we call it Parity. For example, number of the ones in this line is 70 or it's 18. A again, you can also encrypt this one and put it here. Therefore, if again you remove the password from Ali and put it here instead of password of admin, the integrity doesn't work. So it's not the same. So you will understand that this is the, uh, there is a big problem here. You see, you will understand that something is wrong with this line and you can, you don't want to use this line. So if we do this, if we add parity, we, we will solve the problem of integrity. So we have the confidentiality with using the encrypted password. We have the integrity with this one, and then authenticity will also will be will be saved in some uh, aspects. Okay, in somehow. Okay, it's not one hundred percent, but it's good. 
but the problem is that still this one is the table okay if if i put the name for the this table for example user table okay if this is user table i can type delete user table okay you delete everything nobody can log in not even admin not ali this one is again attack on attack on availability okay for example if you delete uh, the uh, user table even if do you delete the database even if you delete the windows delete the windows itself or even if you just use uh, i don't know a hammer or axe to destroy the hard disk okay even if you use a hammer to destroy the hard disk the results is same no one can log in and this is attack on availability it's so far easy Uh, now it's okay I think yes I, I've noticed that I've been disconnected for a few minutes okay okay so you see we talked about confidentiality because I'm almost finished here okay for this session I'm almost finished we talk about we talked about confidentiality and then we talked about attack on confidentiality we talked about integrity and also we talked about different types of attack on integrity we talked about authenticity what is authenticity and different type of attacks on authenticity and then we talked about availability and different type of attacks on availability which most important attacks on availability are dos and ddos okay and this, this was one example on all of them using a database uh, this is the well, we had for each of them we had different type of example and this example was for all of them i'm done here uh, i think we can stop here passive attack and active attack and the rest of the slides we can talk about it later in the next session i'm done here and the class is finished if you have any question you can ask me if uh, no I, we just have something to do together uh, still i need one uh, representative for the class that help me with the uh, transferring information to the group and inform the students about everything and so on and so forth just uh, uh, the, just for a few minutes i will write down what was the slide and what we thought i wait for you for someone to be volunteer thank you very much and i hope i uh, see you in the next class Okay, thank you very much. Still waiting for someone to voluntarily become a class representative and uh, Ma'as Salam, take care.